What's going on, guys? As you can tell, I got my toboggan on, my big coat. It's winter time this week in South Carolina, so uh, that's the way it's going to be this week. But I got a uh, corner weight system from Sky RC. I actually paid for this myself. I didn't. It's not a promotion or anything. I've been wanting one. Uh, I guess about maybe a year ago, I seen John Martin on a YouTube live and he was helping one of his buddies set up a, uh, I guess a dirt oval RC and he had set these scales out and it just popped in my head, man, it'd be awesome to set up a crawler with, cause so you could, you know, bounce your weight out amongst your, amongst, we can use that word, right? Amongst your four tires, you know, to keep your weight kind of level, keep a little bit more in front, a little less in back. This is all new to me. I got it uh, right before Christmas. I opened it up to make sure it works, but that's about it. So we're gonna take a deeper look at it today. I hope you enjoy this video. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is, is design. We're gonna just look at it, give you an overview. It's designed for a one eighth buggy and truck, a one tenth scale buggy, touring car, and a one twelfth scale. <coughs> Excuse me. Measure the car's corner weight, front and rear distribution. Okay, it just goes over our measure corner weight, front, rear distribution. Make adjustments if necessary. The maximum weight for each scale is 2,000 grams, which equals 70.5 ounces. Alexa, how much is... 200 grams, Alexa, how much is 200 grams in pounds? 200 grams is about seven ounces. That didn't do me no good. Alexa, how much is 70 ounce? <laughs> Never mind. 70 ounces is about four pounds, six ounces. Four pounds, six ounces. So you got about four pounds per scale, in other words. So you're looking at about a 12, uh, Say four pounds times four, be eight, 16 pounds. It handle up to 16 pounds. Uh, let's see, LED screen, yeah. Four large, easy to clean aluminum weight surfaces to use three button operation. And it takes four AA batteries. You can buy a external power supply. It doesn't come with it from six volts to 13. It actually has the banana plugs on the cord. I'll show you if I left it in here. And uh, that's pretty much it. Let's open it up and take a, take a gander at this thing, if you will. Yeah, here's the plug I was telling you about. It looks like it's got like a banana plug. I don't know why it comes with a plug like this. This plug's actually into the scale. This here, I guess you could plug it into some of them batteries that, you know, don't have the uh, banana plug with them, which would be probably pretty cool. This here's what I call the head unit. <clears throat> and uh, they make this in two different models. They make it in one where it's all wired, then they make it in a wireless. I heard that the wireless, the wired was better. That's why I ordered it. <clears throat> but the bad thing about it, the only place I could find this was at Alibaba or whatever you call it, AliExpress overseas. It took me about six weeks to get it, but it wasn't but like $80, $80. Here's each one of the scales or load cells, if you will. And they are color coded. I never noticed that before. So they are color coded. This thing's a lot smaller than uh, what I was thinking about uh, when I bought it. Uh, it always looked bigger on screen, like you can see my hand, you know, like on the sides, but it's a lot smaller. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, set this up and test a couple trucks on it. Okay, when you're setting this up, if you will look, your scale will be color coded. See the little gray band on the wire? That means it goes on the rear left, which will be labeled right here, rear left, and you just plug it in the hole. And you just do it all the way around to the corresponding 
uh, scales. Okay, now that we got them all three laid out, you want to take and try to line the scales up where that wire right there is in the center of your axle. I uh, really need to take a Sharpie and draw a line straight across there. You want your uh, each tire in the center of each scale. And uh, we'll try to get it pretty close. Okay, that's pretty close. Now we're going to take a carpenter level and lay across them and make sure they're all level. Okay, I found my carpenter level. So basically, uh, level is just a level that a carpenter uses. I'm not a carpenter, but I have to own one. So you just want to set it across the scales. Make sure it's pretty close. It don't have to be perfect, but you want it pretty close. This scale and this scale ain't too close, but there we go. Oh, it's pretty close. It's, it's in the bubble, so we're good to go there. All right, now we're going to take and uh, turn, turn the scale on. There's a button right here in the center. It says on and off. It's right there in the center. We'll turn it on. Probably need to move it closer. Let me just tilt the camera up a little bit. Y'all bear with me. There we go. Now we're cooking. Now we will set the truck on there. Let's see. We will want the front going towards the front, the right front. So that's the right front. I'm going to line them up just a little bit again since I did move them. That's pretty much in the straight, straight as axles. I think SkyRC makes some things like some U shaped things to set on your scales to make your wheels fit into, but I run a bunch of different size wheels, so that would make the difference. Okay, let's see what we got here. I got pretty much, this is one of my best crawlers at the moment, to be honest with you. We're pretty even across the, uh, the sides, 79, 76, pretty close here. Uh, the total weight is 27.17. I have to convert that over. Let's see if it... We say maybe that was I'll say this is probably let's see what was it weighing in this is probably uh, grams yeah this is probably grams but here's here's the numbers you need to look at these numbers right here this is the main ones you see we got a 50 and 50 57 front uh, weight bias that means we got 57 percent of the weight on the front we got 43 on the back and this here this is a basically a gatekeeper and i've got a uh, cliffhanger body i run on it and the difference in stock of course y'all have seen this truck it's got the uh the brass shock links and the ssd uh knuckles on it on the outside so uh it's basically only upgrades this truck has got. Of course, besides the tires and wheels, but you know, that's what everybody does. Let's get another truck out and take a look at it. All right, now uh, let's see, we hit the scales backwards. Let's try it again. We'll put them back here. Move these up here. Try to set it close to the center as you possibly can. There we go. There we go. It's back to about where it was. As you can see, the it's a little bit more weight on the front. 
43. 60 40 is about where they want you, pretty close. And as you can tell, uh, just got probably just needs a little bit of shock adjustment. This is a new truck. The only thing I've done to it is put brass and overdrive in it. Got some other things. This is the TRX4 Blazer. Let's try uh, my SCX10 3. Let's try it because I'm curious about it. This is my 10 3. It's dirty, folks. Been out running. It's like the wheelbase is just a hair different on it. This has got the Vitavon brass up front, which should give it a little bit more, and it sure does. It gives it just a little bit more. <clears throat> 58, 42, and 53, 47. Of course, the ESC over here, which the ESC is actually pretty heavy. It's got a pretty good coating of silicone across all the electronics. That, that, that ESC is actually waterproof. <clears throat> yes, sir. I have submarine this truck. It's waterproof. Plus, you can program that ESC with a Hobby Wing 1080 program card. I think it only has one function. You can actually use a Hobby Wing card on the ESC. That was all just extra here in the Sky RC video. <laughs> but as you can see, uh, most of my trucks, I have to set the scale down for it to for the wires to keep from touching the load cells. But as you can see, uh, most of them's pretty much par on. This would be great if you're gonna build a comp crawler, which we've got the chassis in. We're gonna print a skid plate. And I'm not sure, I'm still trying to make up my mind which way I wanna go with it. I can go either way, it's a, uh, it's the Predator chassis. I figure it'd be one to start with because it's proven itself, you know, for my first comp. Uh, build and we're going to do it and that's one of the main reasons we got this scale well i hope y'all enjoyed that video i hope you got something out of it that could help you and uh remember until next time i love you but god loves you more